I've dedicated my whole life to racing. Anything short of success is unacceptable. I go into every race thinking that I have a shot to win. I mean, you better be ready to come and fight if you're going to come here. We left Glen Helen on a really good note. You know, we're, we're still working on this new truck, trying to get it figured out. And uh, you know, we came out with a big win for the team. Felt really good. And uh, you know, the guys worked really hard, prepped the truck in about three weeks, get it ready for uh, Wild West Motorsports Park here in Reno. And uh, we came out really strong. We went to practice. We're fastest in practice. Went and qualified. Qualified first for the first full season, which is really good for us. You know, we're still working on this truck, trying to figure it out, and it's taken a while, but um, I think we finally figured it out and got it. So after practice we were sitting first and times, went out and qualifying, did the same thing, you know, me and McCacken were really close, uh, pulled off a first place qualifying, first of the year, so, you know, it kind of boosts our team up, feeling really good about it, looking forward to tonight, we start second row, and, uh, you know, I have a really good feeling that we're going to win this thing. Bryce is great to have out there racing, he's one of the, the top guys, you know, one of the top five guys out there. For me, it's uh, rewarding when, when you end up racing with these guys and then if you end up beating them, um, it's very rewarding and that's what I want, you know, Bryce is definitely a contender. You know, his, his father has arranged all the right people, um, you know, on the team from the motor builder to the mechanics to the shop guys, and uh, they did the right things. They hired the right people, and uh, it got them on the top, uh, you know, really quick. We were kind of fast yesterday, and then it came out we had an issue, and I only got two left for practice. So we've been chasing the little gremlins, and that's kind of been the story of this year. And uh, but that's racing, you know. I mean, it, it's hard when. When you're having a bad day and you have a competitor like Kyle LaDuke who's been on fire every race, every you know, weekend, fast guy all the time, and so um, it beats you up a little bit, but sometimes you just have to take a step back. I know that everybody here at Menzies Motorsports, Red Bull, BFG, KMC, everybody's giving me the best equipment and everything that they can, um, but sometimes you just miss your, miss your mark by a little bit, but uh, I think we'll be good for the race. Rick brings, you know, years and years of experience in off-road, uh, cars that he's drove, just he's super intelligent. He And he's willing to help you with anything. I mean, the guy just doesn't hold anything back. He tells you, hey, Bryce, do this, or, you know, he helps the team. I mean, he says, look, you know, let's work on these tires. Let's do this, let's do that. It's, it's just a great having a coach like that on your team. We couldn't ask for a better guy. Yeah, throughout the season so far, my teammate Ricky Johnson has been struggling with the Pro 4. And uh, we came up here to Reno, we just threw everything we had at it. 
and they found some stuff with gear to try to get it to make it a three speed. And you know, he uh, ended up qualifying um, second and went out to the race and pretty much took the lead right away. You know, running really strong. So it's just good to see him be confident again in the truck, know it's that fast again, and uh, just have a good race. Well, I knew during the race that with no radio, it was going to be really hard to, you know, pull off the restart. And, uh, you know, it's racing. When they call the green, you got to go. And uh, I just didn't, didn't hear it, couldn't go. And it was pretty frustrating. You know, I was really upset at the end. We've had radio communication problems this whole season. We just couldn't seem to figure it out. So, um, you know, I was pretty down on myself and the team at that point. But, you know, it's a new day uh, tomorrow. And we just got to figure out the problems that we had tonight and uh, keep pushing forward. <laughs> Last night I made a mistake. Uh, they had the lights facing down the hill, so it was blind you out, and then, you, then your eyes would dilate, and then you go around in the darkness and you couldn't see. So I put it, I tricked myself. I made this bitch a little shield, or I had the guys make a shield for me, but I, made, I, I off the measurements by one block, and so it narrowed my vision down really bad. And coming to the corners, I couldn't see, and I rotated too early, hit the wall, and so it's just my mistake. And uh, we were able to get back on the podium. Um, we had a couple other little issues. Everything was good in qualifying today. We were right up in the front, and qualified second. Right now, I kind of slow down and calm down. People think, oh, it seems like he's going to fall asleep. But that's kind of what I do before before a race. My body just kind of shuts down. So the calm before the storm, because once you're out there, it's, it's just wide open 100%. wants to win every race and he's out there uh, you know to try to do whatever it takes to win um, you know we've had our battles over the years but we respect each other uh, we know 
what it means, you know, for uh, you know for our careers, for our sponsors, um, you know, to win and be successful. And uh, you know, Ricky pushes really hard, and he's a, he's another one of those guys that uh, you know you, you're you're happy to have him on the track because he definitely brings uh, brings his A game and uh, you know brings more to the sport. And uh, it's good to be out there battling with him. We're still focusing on trying to get this truck right, trying to get a good race both nights, have a good solid points weekend. We're we're way out of first from Deegan, but. Uh, you know, we're, we're in second now behind him, so we just need to make sure we keep gapping those points and hopefully we can pull off a second for this championship. Started second row, um, and I knew we had to get out front quick, and that's what we did. You know, Patrick was running really good out front, made the move on him, and uh, you know, Deegan and Rob started battling. And I kind of gapped from there, and uh, Charlie came on the, the the radio and just was like, just clean runs, clean runs. Had a couple yellows, but nothing that messed me up too bad. Just feels really good to get the win after last night. A little bit of drama happened last night, but my guys worked really hard in the truck, got it ready, pumped. Kevin Croyer built an awesome engine to pull up that hill. Everything was working good. Woo!